Hello, I'm Sarah from South London Sting Library and this is the Artipop Zeitgeist Carrier. Um, I wanted to pop on and do a quick review for you. Um, I've been lent this by a very kind customer um, just to do a couple of videos with. Um, so in terms of the carrier itself, it's absolutely lovely. The, it's the quality of it is you can tell <laughs> you can tell the amount of thought they've put into the fabrics the quality of the fittings um, it's a it is a really really nice carrier everything about it from the packaging it comes in which is really sturdy to the quality of the fabric to the feel of the padding um, I mean it, the waistband it's a really really lovely carrier um, I had a visiting Freerider Sierra carrier here recently um, and at the time I, I said about the, the Freerider Sierra carrier that if you like the look of the Artipop but you couldn't afford one you should absolutely get a Sierra Freerider and to be honest I still kind of stand by that but having had an extensive play with that and now having had a good old chance to play with this properly um, you can feel the difference. You can honestly feel where that extra money goes. Um, the quality of the fabric, the quality of the plastic buckles, they make a different sound when you do them up. Um, you can honestly feel it. Now, is it the best carrier on the market? No, absolutely not. Um, are there other carriers out there that are gonna do the same job? just as well, or if not better to some degree? Absolutely. There are carriers out there that will fit much earlier than this will. There are carriers out there that are gonna last longer than this will. Um, there are carriers out there that will allow you to do a wider range of things in terms of carrying your baby, maybe positions. Um, but you know, yeah, they're out there. And are there carriers out there that are gonna do all of that for less money? Absolutely. Is it worth the £400? Now that's a very personal question. Um, it's, it just comes down to what your budget is capable of. Um, if you've got the money um, and you want to splurge on something, then absolutely go for it. Um, I mean, you know, there's nothing like have, treating yourself to something that you desperately love. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, you know, there's no point in having a sling that does the job, is perfectly safe, is nice and comfortable. If every time you pick it up, you kind of go, meh. Whereas if you, you treat yourself to something like this and you absolutely love the fabric or the print or the feel, then absolutely go for it. There's no harm in it. Um, if your budget doesn't stretch to an arty pop, then there are absolutely other carriers out there that are going to do the very same job possibly in a slightly better way um you know there are absolutely other options out there um however i'm now i have to admit slightly converted to the fact that if i had the money i may have splurged on one when my babies were this size uh things to bet i don't know maybe would i i don't know I don't know, because like I say, very personal thing, you know, who knows. Um, one thing I would say to bear in mind, if you're looking at getting an Artipop, do bear in mind it doesn't fit a newborn. Um, so it's going to start fitting around the sort of two to three month mark. Um, when your baby's started to open up, they've got a kind of wider seat, they're a bit chunkier, they're a bit bigger. Um, prior to the two to three month mark, when you pop them in an arty pop, they're going to disappear right down into the bottom of the carrier. Um, they're not going to be able to have their legs out on either side with their knees comfortably bent on both sides. And you're probably not going to be able to get them snug enough so that their body weight doesn't pull away from you. Um, things to bear in mind, you want your baby to be sat in the bottom of the carrier here so there is no extra fabric around this baby's bottom. They've got their knees comfortably bent on both sides of the carrier and their head is perfectly visible. The carrier doesn't come any higher than the nape of their neck and when I put my hand on their head and do the little dip forward, I do not feel the baby's body weight pull away from me at all. So those are my, my ticks safety guidelines, my ticks list. 
Um, I'll leave a link to the ticks list below so you can, if you wanted to, you can print it out um, and have it stuck up somewhere. Um, but once your baby's that little bit bigger and you can put them in the carrier and tick your whole safety guidelines list, um, then you are perfectly safe. And like I say, if you've got the money and you want to splurge on something that just makes you feel good, um, then go for it. There's absolutely no reason why not. Um, I'm going to make a couple of videos while I've got this before I have to return it to its rightful owner um, about how to use it uh, so that if you do decide to splurge on one, um, you can then have some accurate videos that show you how to use it safely and easily um, and be as comfortable as you possibly can be. Um, so keep an eye out for those. Thanks for your um, attention <laughs> and I'll see you soon. Bye.